uh, yeah. You know how I'm, guys, I don't know what I'm doing with these lives. Carl, hello. <laughs> it's like being in space. Is anyone there? Hello. Thank you for a uh, congratulation on the baby. Uh, his name's Elsie William Calhoun. It's named after my grandfather and Margie's dad and grandfather's. LC is uh, abbreviation for Leonard Calhoun. Nice to see you guys. These comments are going to probably start whizzing. They already are. So someone just said congratulations, congratulations on LC, and they spelled it E-L-S-I-E. -E. It's just LC, like two letters, but we just call him LC, like you just spelt it. And I'm sure everyone will call him that in his life. It's not that like they're going to be like, hey, LC. Everyone's going to be like, hey, LC. Anyways, that's my son. What's up, nerd? No, don't say you're bad, bro. That's that's literally we call him like you just spelt it. Um, trying to trying to keep up with these comments. I'm pretty worn out, guys. Um, there was some we had to do personal family. We had to go to wake, so. Pretty tired, uh, long day today. And I'll be happy when this album is out. And uh, tomorrow, got a brand new uh, music video dropping at 11 a.m. And the album is out at midnight. So if you haven't bought the album, go buy the album. If you can, if you cannot, you can stream it. You can listen to it on YouTube and, and all that stuff. Um, but I'm gonna be up till, I'm gonna be on this live feed for one hour. I'll ask. I'll, I'll answer as many questions as I can read. They're going by very fast. The comments. Um, I'm gonna be live for till ten o'clock. At least I'm gonna try to uh, be li be <laughs> alive. Be live till ten o'clock. Um, and this is for the album, man. This is for the album Second Rodeo. And uh, I don't know. I, some people might not know, but like, I've done a few country kind of in the country vein songs um crossroads uh clean money ramble on so this album is like a combination of all those songs put together it's called second rodeo it comes out tonight at midnight guys is, is anyone out no it's no cds uh no cds are available it's just you can stream it you can listen it on youtube you can buy it um digitally if you if you want to trying to read Texas is in the house Spotify of course it's gonna be everywhere you guys can listen to music uh, it's 10 songs on there the only feature is Brian Martin if you're not familiar with Brian Martin he's got a really big song out right now it's called we ride uh, really good dude he's a he worked in an oil field and uh, his dreams came true of writing music. He's a he's a singer songwriter, and um, it was pretty cool doing that song with him because you guys know my backstory. Uh, I came from the trades, and and I was in the union as a uh, I worked in a refinery. So it's like two real guys that actually really worked for a living uh, in the field. Like that, that was really cool to do that song with him. People in Australia say they already are listening to this to the album. Uh, apparently, I don't know what time it is in Australia, but I think it's tomorrow in Australia already. Uh, someone said they're gonna do a reaction to the album. Thank you. Yeah. The, okay. So yeah, the album's ten songs long. Um, I. I I don't like when people, every single album they do is their best work. Like, this is my best album. This is my best album. I literally don't, if I hear someone playing my music, I'm usually like, man, turn that shit off. Because I've already listened to it a hundred times. I already listened to the beat a million times when I was writing it. And then I shot music video. Like, this song uh, is something, this is the first album I've made straight out of, like, love. Like, I hate this word, art. Uh, like, that I created out of, like, I don't care if anyone doesn't like this album. 
I, I'm proud of it. You know what I mean? I think it's going to do really well. Uh, I think it's what country music is missing. Um, and, and I really kicked it in the ass on this. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can... Put my glasses on. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not good at reading. Uh, I'm not good at reading without my glasses on. Ireland's in the house. Tour. Uh, I can't say until April 26th about tour. Hold on. Someone said, Adam Calhoun, your music is the best. Thank you. Uh, it wasn't always that good. Like as a kid learning how to write and rap and man, if I could show you my first rap songs, maybe I should do that. I should upload my first rap songs I ever recorded. Uh, it's a long, t I still have a long way to go in writing and rapping and obviously singing and things like that. Trying to read, uh, man, these com how do you slow the comments down so you can fucking readers re read them? So, <laughs> a very interesting question. Someone said, Are you still running for office? <laughs> My whole life, every thing that I wanted to do was impossible. Me running for president, how is it any more impossible than Joe Biden being the president? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do think that I will run for office one day. Yes. And that's not like something I'm like, yeah, I might do that. No, that's something I'm passionate about. Um, Did anyone ever think Donald Trump would be the president? You know what I mean? Um, the thing about being the president is you better have, it takes a lot of money to campaign and do all that. And a guy like me is very unlikely to ever be president. But when we were kids, they told us we could be whatever we wanted. You know, we could be an astronaut. We could be a, well, when we were kids, they told us we could be ever, whatever we wanted, like whatever job we wanted. Now they tell them they could be whatever, a girl can be a boy and a boy can be a girl. So it's a little different. I'm trying to, I don't know how to slow the comments down. See if I can catch a couple here. The album, 2032, maybe or maybe 28. The album will be out at midnight. It's called Second Rodeo. It's a really cool album. I'm very proud of it. You guys can stream it anywhere you listen to music. You buy it. You can share it. You can listen it on YouTube for free. And these comments are f f hauling it. If you guys want to ask me questions, I'm going to do my best to, to read them. So someone said, where's the first rodeo? The first rodeo was the first part of my life, my career, you know. This is a new chapter in my life. Dad to dad, you have my vote. I appreciate that. Second Rodeo 2 is like a second chance, you know, like at life, you know. And uh, it's just a thing, like this ain't my first rodeo. Like I've been around, you know, I'm not new with this. I need a moderator. I believe in freedom of speech. I don't know what people are saying. If anyone's saying anything crazy, they can say whatever they want. I don't do moderators. 
And plus, I can't read half these comments anyways. They're just flying past my screen. All I see is hearts and like mostly... Oh, well, I haven't seen a bad comment. If I do see one, I'll tell you. Yes, there's songs on the album. It's it's the album's a mixture of Crossroads, Ramble On, and Clean Money. So yeah, as far as moderators go, I don't even know how that works, guys. I think this is my fourth live I've ever done on YouTube. I don't know how to how to get moderators. I don't know, and even if I did, I wouldn't care because, like I said, you guys are free to say whatever you like about me, whether it's good or bad. Someone said I saw you today. Where was the new video filmed? The oh, the one that drops tomorrow. That was in Tennessee. And that was just because I was down there on business and I figured while I was down there, I might as well knock something out. I would say 90% of my videos have been filmed in Illinois. I did one, uh, I did. I think the only videos I've filmed that were anywhere else were collab videos. I could be wrong on that. I've done a lot of videos. Can anyone count how many? I mean, I've done a lot of music videos. I, th I think I've filmed just at this house alone 10 in my front yard. What time do I usually go to bed? I should go to bed now, but tonight I have to stay up. Uh, I have to stay up. This is album release day. I'm pretty tired. I'm not going to lie to you. No Diddy. Where is Diddy? Like, why? how is he not arrested? Someone said 369 videos on YouTube. Yeah, but I don't know how many music videos I've done. I would have to say, if I had to guess how many music videos I've done, it has to be like... It's got to be at least over... It's got to be over 50, I think. I don't know. Someone could check that if they can. Everyone's talking about Diddy now. Opinion on the Morgan Wallen incident? I don't care. Like, whatever. He's got drunk and threw a chair off a fucking balcony. And his streams probably went... And his album sales went... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he's a young, rich guy. He's probably a, kind of a... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to talk about him. I don't know. But do I, I don't really give a fuck. Hold on. Oh. Man, dude, these comments, I'm trying. This one is in Spanish. Walking through hell, is that on a green screen? No. So I flew into Vegas, drove two hours into the Mojave Desert. And that's, that was the scenery. That was the whole video was right there. P. Diddler. Yeah, that dude, I think he's going for, gone forever. What do I think of OJ? He's, good chance he killed people and he got, his life ended, probably lived longer than he should have. That's my opinion. Do a Fortnite stream? I played Fortnite a few times with like Tom and, and Rocky and uh, 
Nova and like a couple of my buddies. But like, I just not, I'm not good at those kind of, I'm good at like Madden. And I haven't played Madden in about a year, but I'm not good with those kinds of games. Do I mushroom hunt? No. Oliver Anthony fan? Uh, no, but I'm very happy for what that guy did with his life. And that one song, I mean, he's got a couple good songs that I've heard. I mean, obviously the one song, uh, Richmond of Richmond, Virginia. Richmond of Richmond, right? Uh, I mean, that song just shook the world, man. Like, <laughs> it was amazing, you know? So it's like, I'm a fan of what he did. Yeah, it's awesome. What's Calhoun? My last name. Podcast next year. I won't next year I don't think I'll be able to drop music because I'll be working just on the podcast. That's another thing. I think in my life will be a lot um just if I have less things going on and one thing to focus on instead of all these different things I'm focusing on, it'd, it'd probably be, my life would be a little easier, less stressful. Not a fan of Jason LD. No, the, the, I'm not really a fan of any modern country singers. I, I uh, The first country album I ever got, I was 14 or 15 years old, and it was a uh, David Allen Cole Greatest Hits. I didn't really like country because I never heard country that I had liked. And um, my mom's husband at the time, she he gave me the CD, and, man, I wore that sucker out. It was David Helen Coe's greatest hits, and it was, it was like the coolest shit I ever heard in my life. Um, and that was the first country I ever heard that I liked was David Allen Coe. So then I went down that like rabbit hole and uh, and found out like this whole genre of country music that wasn't like what the shit they were playing on the radio really, you know what I mean? Um, it was like the outlaw shit. Dude, these comments are so fast. Uh, the funny videos with my son. Yeah, I mean, he's getting older. You know, he's 24 now. But the funny videos with my son, that's... I don't know if, even know if people know. But before I did anything, like, we were still really living check to check. Margie, it was me and Margie and Taman living in the duplex. And we, I started making viral videos on accident. I made one on accident when I called off work one day. Um, and I just made a video about my son. He was leaving the milk in the fridge. And I just, it kind of sparked this thing about like the difference of when I was a kid and how kids are nowadays. And um, I made that video and went viral. And I started making other videos and they didn't really do anything. And then I started making videos with my son and those went crazy. Um, and me and my son made a lot of really fun videos, a lot of fun memories from that stuff. What made me decide to do music? Music made me decide to do music. I grew up, man, I grew up listening to, I, to me, music and movies are like, they can change the way you look at life. They can change your mood. They can change... You can remember like where you were when you first heard this certain song or where you were when, you know, how you felt when you watched a certain movie, you know, like um, music to me is just like, it's a part of life that it's like, how sad would life be without music, you know? I don't know if you guys can still see me really great, but um, it is pouring Pouring, pouring out. And usually sometimes my Wi-Fi gets a little sketchy when it's raining like this. What do you... Th oh, wait, wait. Come back. What? what? That's a stupid question. What do I think is funnier? Weird Al Yankovic? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any opinion on Weird Al Yankovic. I have... Do I hunt or fish? I haven't went fishing since my grandfather has passed. 
How's Taman doing with his fights? He's 3-0. and Someone said they bought the album with flexing emojis. Thank you so much. Thank you, seriously. Everyone who buys the album, thank you. And if you don't buy the album, thank you. If you just listen to it or stream it. I, um, yeah, man. Like, it's all, all of that is, is part of the process. You know, some people that can afford to buy it, thank you so much. And if you can't and you just can listen to it on YouTube, shit, that's, you can do that for free, you know? Yeah, David Allen Cole wrote, Would You Lay With Me? In a Field of Stone. My knees were strong. Would you lay with me? Uh, he wrote a lot of good songs. Wait, what did that say? How did I get ACAL clothing started? I don't need a moderator. I, freedom of speech, man. Say whatever you want in here. Um, uh, okay, so <clears throat> that's how I first started making money <coughs> is when I had all those viral videos, this company reached out to me called Grunt Style. And they were like, hey, man, would you like to partner with us and like be a ambassador? And I was like, no. And I, and I was like, you guys make shirts. They're like, yeah. I was like, how about if I, I had my own designs and like I get a percentage of whatever I sell? And they were like, they like laughed at it. And then I started uh, turning in my designs and they started making them and printing them. I started, and, and I had my own little button on their like site. And this is like, fuck, seven, seven, over seven years ago. Um, and, you know, maybe the first like half a year I made maybe a thousand or 1500 a month. And then once I started going, um, really viral with my son and started wearing my shirts in the videos and stuff like that. And, um, like learning how to work social media and like telling people about shit, you know, um, I started on Snapchat with this titty Tuesday thing that I used to do. And I made a titty Tuesday shirt and it like went viral like overnight. And they, I went home and there was like a $60,000 check in the mail, $60,000. And I called them and I was like, Hey, I think you guys sent me the wrong check. And they're like, no, that's just like a portion of what's coming. And, and, uh, that year, so the first six months didn't really do a lot, but the rest of the year I ended up making, when I left my job, I made uh, a little over 400 grand that year, just off of shirts. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the comments. Now I am. Brian Martin is a phenomenal artist. Colt Ford, um, thank God uh, he made it. He's alive. Um, I got the call late, early, early, I guess you'd say early morning. And from his people and saying what had happened. And then Brantley Gilbert was in touch with me every day, the day, the day, day to day, letting me know what was going on with Colt. Uh, him and Brantley are really good friends. And, uh, man, very happy for him and his family. And uh, a lot of people don't know, Colt is like an OG. Like, that dude was rapping in the fucking 80s. Colt had a massive um, heart attack and almost, like, was this close to dying. Like, he was out. And thank God, he you know, he made it. So if you're still here right now, this is about this live is about my album. It's called Second Rodeo. If you want to buy it, go buy it. If not, stream it. Um, it you, anywhere you listen to music, that album will be. It'd be dope if you bought it. If not, it'd be dope if you listen to it on YouTube or Spotify, Pando, whatever you listen to. Yeah, I've never seen comments move this fast either. Like, they're, it's weird. They'll, like, stop for just a split second and then... And I can't really... I have to, like, do this and put my hand over the phone to, like... Someone said they want to see me in concert. So glad you made another album. Thank you. I have a doppelganger. I probably got a lot of dudes... Uh, dudes that look like me or I look like them. Someone said they can't buy yet, only save. Save your money, man. Save it.
Why not sell physical copies? All right, I'll tell you why. Me personally, the <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not good at myself. I tried it once. Um, I did it with the Americal album. Uh, my first album. I, I was like, oh, I gotta get physical copies, and I just didn't. It just I didn't do it. It's just, I didn't know how to sell them. They sat around for a while, and uh, they finally, after like two years, I got rid of them all. But like, I think I gave a lot of them away on tour, and just I don't know. I I'm not good. It's like I'd rather I would sell them. I just don't, you know. The only CDs I ever sold was with Tom, the two albums that we did, and and, and you know what I mean. Like, other than that, I, I, I yeah, I don't know. Uh, someone asked me about Texas. I love Texas. You know, I actually was it Hurricane Harvey or uh, yeah, Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. My son was still in high school. I took him out of high school for two weeks. I went down there and uh, me and my son stayed down there and helped out like relief uh, when they had the hurricane. Um, and it was, it was a really eye opening experience. It was really, um, I'm glad I did it. Uh, and man, them damn mosquitoes in Texas, they're like Apache helicopter. Those fuckers are gigantic. You get one on you that you don't know, and it starts, it sticks it in you, and it starts, you no, know, did he, and it, and it starts, you don't know, and it's sitting there sucking on your blood, and you pop that thing, man, that thing explodes, and the, the bump it leaves is like, you just got shot. Those, those, those mosquitoes in Texas are crazy. Will Second Rodeo be available on Amazon? Okay, guys, the new, the new name, the, I'm sorry, the, the album, the name of my new album is called Second Rodeo. It will be available everywhere. Everywhere you listen to music, it's there. My favorite song on the album is They Don't Make Them Like They Used To. That's about my grandfather. The hook can relate to anybody. Um, the verses are very personal to me. Um... I think that's my favorite. That's no, that is my favorite song. How wrong you done me. That's a really good song as well. Someone said, "Can I have a shout out?" I can't. You're gone already. I saw it. Shout out. Shout out to the person that asked for a shout out. So. Today, I will be up until midnight. I'll be on this live for another half an hour. I'm going to try to answer questions. Rap? No, this is a country album. Someone said they pre-ordered it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to leave on tour in September and October. And if I didn't have my phone on this stand right now, I could tell you the dates and where I was going. I'm not allowed to announce like who and what the tour is yet, but I could tell you what states I'll be going to. I want to say it's uh, we'll be in Kentucky, Corbin, uh, we'll be in Reading, Pennsylvania, we'll be in Massachusetts, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, um, Alabama. Georgia, I think there's two shows in Georgia's. It's a it's a total of eighteen shows. Nowhere out west though. Yeah, Tennessee. There's two shows in Tennessee. I be, I believe Arkansas. What did that say? Someone said Jelly didn't sell out. He did what was right for his family. I think a lot of people don't know anything about anything that goes on. You don't know what that man goes through or what he does or, or anything like that. I don't, I would never look at him as a sellout ever.
No, it won't be the blue note. It's basically in like the uh, 5,000, 6,000 uh, seat arena. I think you would call them arenas, right? Small arenas that we're in. So no, it won't be at the blue note. I think the blue note's like a, a smaller venue. Don't quote me on that, but I think the Blue Note is a smaller venue. Any questions? A lot of compliments. I really appreciate that, man. I'm froze. Can you guys see me? I wouldn't be able to know if you could see me anyways, because I can't see the damn comments. Can you guys see me? Someone said yes. I've seen one yes. Okay, slow down. Jesus. <laughs> Someone said the mosquitoes that bit you are now gay. That's actually kind of funny. Thanks, man. Appreciate that uh, comment. I appreciate you taking the time to write that comment. What do I do for fun that I actually enjoy? Honestly, the, 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 the shit, I, shit I enjoy is not, probably nobody gives a shit about. The things that I enjoy the most is uh, running my miles every day and working out and being at home with my family. That's literally what I enjoy most in this world. That wasn't always like that. I used to want to be out all the time traveling all over the country, going to all these crazy um, just tours and events and just getting myself fucking drunk and just, I was a, I was a mess. I, I hate that, that I don't like any of that shit anymore. Um, still got a lot of work to do on myself. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> I was a lunatic. How many miles a day? So bare minimum is three. Uh, it's three straight, not like chopped up, like one mile here, one mile there. So three straight is the bare minimum. Uh, depends how much time I got that day. Um, but I'd like to usually, I usually like to get minimum of four, but the bare minimum I'll, I'll let myself run is three. Um, so if it's like, let's just say it's a five day running week. I'll put in about minimum 15 miles. Oh, someone saw the Mike Tyson story that Justin posted? That's hilarious. It was such a weird, like, so I don't know. For those of you who don't know, Mike Tyson is, like, my favorite human of all time. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I met him in, a, uh, in, a, in, like, a sauna in Vegas off the strip at the M resort. It's like he lives across the street He or he did live in the, across the street in a, in a big neighborhood. And I guess that was like where he went, his gym and stuff like that. And, uh, it was just, yeah, it's a funny story. Southern Illinois in the house. Tyson is a beast. Someone said Tyson was a beast. Tyson still is a beast. How can promoters book me? You can't really, like, you have to get a hold of me. Uh, I don't, another thing, a lot of people are always asking how I, how to get features. I don't, I don't charge for features. I just do features with people, like, you know, that I want to do features with. Um, that's it. What's this say? No, you guys got to go watch the Tyson story. I think it's, I think that Justin posted on like, on his, on his, uh, I don't know, did he post it somewhere? He told me he was going to post it. Uh, that's a hard question to ask, answer. Someone said, how do you deal with people that don't line up with your beliefs? 
I mean, that's a in, that's a deeper question than than I than that. I think it's like it depends what beliefs they don't line up with. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, it just depends on what beliefs they don't line up with. That's the best way I can answer that question. Like, if you don't believe in God, I can, we can still be, like, you can still be my friend. That's just, that's a belief that, you know what I mean? Like, I believe in God. Um, I, but if, if, say, you don't, you know, you're not there in your life yet or, or you know, I'm, I'm not going to judge you or not be friends with you because of that, you know? Or, uh, you know, like if you're gay, uh, that doesn't, that I could still be your friend. Now, if you're trans and you're like, I just, I don't, I, I just can't wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around that lifestyle. The gay lifestyle, I can't wrap my head around that either. It's not my, uh, I don't agree with that lifestyle, but I have family members and people that I've, you know, worked with and, you know, back when I worked in the trades that I didn't even know they were gay. You know what I mean? Um, like the old school gays, you know what I mean? The new school gays are kind of, they're gay. I think the old school gays think the new school gays are gay. Um, but yeah. Just depend. It depends what beliefs. You know what I mean. If you're uh, I'm trying to think, it just depends. Like I'm not like the kind of guy that's like, oh, we can disagree. We can agree to disagree. No, nah, if there's if it's something like, no, nah, no, 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 I can't fuck with that. Then that's what it is. You know what else, too? These days, anything that you say, <laughs> trolling has become a um, profession for some people. Um, you know, I used to make funny videos and shit, and, like, but, like, people literally just, there's people that don't even make, like, original content, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of my videos I made were just original content that, that I created, and, you know, I'd run it, I'd try to tell my son what the idea was and, you know, he'd act out his part and we'd, it was whatever the theme was of that video, you know, like, did you America today? You know, um, a lot of people nowadays, they don't make their own content. They just like use other people's content and then they just, there's like just trolls, you know, like the comment section. It's, it's, it is fun too sometimes to go to, where do you go? You go right to the comment section to see like, some of the, the people in the comments, they are just on steroids these days. Like some of the comments that you, if you see a video that you're like, you're laughing your ass off when you watch the video and you're like, I got to see these, you got, I got to see these comments. You go straight to the comments. You know what I mean? And the comments are even funnier. What response am I hoping for, for my album? Uh, I don't, I mean, obviously you always hope it does good. Um, that's my, that's my hope. I hope like it's a really good response. If it, if it doesn't, um, it wouldn't, I don't think it would bother me. It typically would, but not with this because I, I actually, I actually for once let myself enjoy creating an album, you know? Most of the time, it's just it's so much competition in me when I'm when I'm making an album. It it takes the fun out of it. This one wasn't any competition for me. It was for me. Is Roseanne cool? Oh my god. Okay, so when I went to meet Trump, so first of all, you can't just meet Trump, right? Like I was invited to go meet him by his whoever the fuck does that. Um. My good fr uh, friend, Rogan, DC Drano, uh, he hit me up. He's like, hey, man, would you want to meet Trump? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I got you. His people reached out to me, not these, not Drano, the, the Trump's people. And they emailed me. They had to vet me, my son, and Justin. And um, 
they gave us the event, all the information, uh, where to be, the numbers that we needed to show the people to get in. And uh, we flew down out to Miami and stayed in Miami for like a week. And then when he had his um, his rally, we went, got you know sent right in. And then when, when it's time to go meet Trump, they have us all in this tent and it's like, me, Jorge Masvidal, Roseanne, uh, that weird dude, <laughs> Roger Stone, I think the pillow guy, he was in there. Um, and before we went in the tent, Roseanne was like taking pictures and everything. And I just went up there and I was like, I gave her like a fist bump. I was like, you were part of my childhood. I watched, you're one of the shows I was watched. I always watched when I was a kid. I was like, I love you. And she was like, oh, come here, you, you're a, you're a handsome guy. She's probably lying, but. And uh, I literally sat there and talked with her and people were trying to take pictures of her and she was like waving them off and me and her just sat there and talked for like 15 minutes. And uh, then they finally called us all in the tent. And uh, the funniest shit ever, when Jorge Masvidal went in right before I did, so when they opened the curtain and, and they took him back to see him, they got all of us waiting behind the other curtain. But they had, I was next, like on deck. So Jorge Masvidal's kid was with them and he was like doing like the... Like the, he was like, eh, eh, in every picture. And uh, I thought that shit was hilarious. And Trump didn't give a, sh he didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Are me and Demon Jones going to um, collab again? Yeah, of course. Taylor Swift might have a chance to beat me. Okay, so here's a fun, fun, fun little nugget of uh, knowledge. Taylor Swift is actually dropping her album at midnight too. She doesn't have a chance to beat me. There is like a 0% chance that I'm going to beat her. She is the biggest artist in the world. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's impossible, but I would have to have every single person that has ever heard of me or known of me uh, to go and buy my album to beat her. Like, we'd have to go gold on the first day, which is not impossible, but also is impossible. And everyone's been telling me everything I do is is, is impossible. You're never going to make it in music. You're never going to be able to do this. You're never going to be able to, you know, do a lot of things. Everywhere in life, I guess... You know, like I say, you know, if you have a dream, if you're not going to chase your dreams, you're going to have to watch me chase mine then. Um, it'd be a hell of a lot better of a life chasing down the shit that you want to do instead of what if, you know? What does it say? My hand tattoos? I don't know if you can... Is it backwards? It says hold fast. That's a Celtic C because I'm Irish as fuck. Uh, anchor, diamond, shamrock, a dove. This is my. This says pray for us sinners. That's Michael. Uh, that's the dove, the cross, the crown for God, the rosary, and my birthday September fifth. That's a Roman. Five. Someone said their mom's in the hospital with brain cancer. I really hate to hear that. Have I ever seen a UFO? I don't believe in UFOs like you like you think. Um, like obviously. I believe that there's unidentified flying objects flying around, but I think they're our, we don't know what the fuck they are, but our government does. Like, they made them. I don't think there's, like, little spl slimy aliens with big eyes inside this little saucer flying around. No, I think that anything that you see in the sky that you don't know what it is, our government made it. That's what I think. To us, it's unidentified because we don't know what the fuck it is. I don't think the earth's flat. I don't I don't get into that shit. Like like I don't do people really think that? No, I don't believe in Bigfoot.
Wait, do people really think the Earth... Do a lot of people in here think the Earth is flat? Okay. I'm just going to say it one more time, and I just want people to say yes or no. Do you guys think the Earth is flat? Lots of no's. A couple yeses. I mean, I guess you can argue the point, like, have you ever been outside of the earth to look back and look at the earth um i personally don't think the earth is flat <laughs> i don't fucking know it's... i don't really know anyone that thinks the earth is flat I don't think I do, at least. I don't know. I don't really care. If they do... Now, that like, again, you guys were talking about, like, if things didn't line up, if someone I knew that thought the Earth was flat, I wouldn't give... I don't give a shit. Do any of us know, really know anything? I mean, we're, like... It's crazy. We're, we're human, right? And we, we walk around... Ugh, you know, some of us, or me sometimes, you know, especially. We walk around like we are the greatest beings in the universe you know but just a hundred years ago if you got an abscess tooth you could die from that you know what i mean so what i'm trying to say is like life is very fragile humans are very fragile you know what i mean we're very tough with like all these modern amenities that we have you know air and heat and you know, fire at our fingertips and stuff like that. But you throw you out in the woods or out in the desert or out in the, you know, naked in a in a in a middle of nowhere and see how, you know, truly, we are fragile, man. Life is fragile. But then on the same hand, life is very. Um, We don't understand. I, I don't hear. I can't speak for everyone. I don't understand human life. Our lives are like in an instant. It's over, like in a breath, in a blink. You know, a lot of us, me, I can speak for myself. We go through life worrying maybe about what other people think of us and. We should just learn, I should just learn how to uh, live my life in, in peace and happiness and, you know, take one day at a time. Maybe I could help some people better, you know. Do I believe in ghosts? So that's interesting. Uh, I don't, so the answer to that would be, I'm not sure. So I guess yes. That's an interesting one. Because I have faith. Obviously, I, have, I mean, I got this tattoo when I was, I don't know, 19. But And I pray to God every day. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not religious. I have, like, spiritual, like, I'm very, like, faith, spiritual. I pray to God. I don't get into like religion because all these religions, they each think that their book, their book of words and rules is the right book, right? And, and they'll, and they, they'll, they kill over it and die over it. Everyone thinks that their book is the right book. Um, you know, I don't, I don't fucking know. I, I, I believe that everything in this world has a creator, right? Like, what I mean by that is, you know, some everything is created by something. We were created by something greater than us, and and that is God. Um, that's it. Like, I don't, I don't. That's my interpretation on of like faith, spirituality. You know what I mean? So when you when you start talking about ghosts, yeah, that's a tough one.
Yeah, but you know, like it's like people like right now, they're like, oh, the Bible, the Bible, that's right. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, you got the you got all different kinds of you have the Bible, you know, you have the Quran, you have you have in India the Sikh uh, religion, you, you you know, you have all these lots of different uh, Buddhists, Hindus, Mo I mean, Muslims, I think that's the Quran, but whatever, you have all these different religions and each book thinks that their book is, is that's the word, that's the word. I don't get into that shit, so don't sacrifice me. I'm just saying what I believe. I believe that there's a God. I believe that there's a creator. Uh, the creator is God. There's one. I don't believe there's multiple gods. I believe that there's one God. That's it. A lot of people believe in Jesus Christ. I mean, Christianity is huge. Um, there's a lot of reading and a lot of research that I have to do on my own, in my own time. That's probably long overdue. I can tell you I get down on my knees, my hands and knees every single day and I pray. And I can tell you I haven't taken these, this, this is St. Michael, and I haven't taken these two things off of my body and since I got them for years. You guys can go back and look at all the pictures over the years. I've never taken these off. Okay, we got eight minutes, guys. Okay, if you're still here in this, and, and when I get off of this live, first of all, thank you. You know what? Guys, fuck the album real quick. Not just me. So many people in life are told they can't do this. You're never going to be this. You can't be what you dreamt of being. Now, a man can't be a woman. Are we on the same page? Okay. I want to say thank you so much for the people who are here that helped me get here, which is all of you, uh, and believed in me. And made music my profession. It is my profession. This is what I do. This is what my job is. And I never, I, and, and I never did think it would happen. And I'm so happy that it did. Um, and I need to always remember that. And that's because of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, so yeah. When I do get off this live, whatever. Buy the album or don't buy the album. I don't give a fuck. If you do, thank you. If you don't, listen to it anywhere you listen to music. That's the main thing. Listen to it. Tell me what you think of it. Give me honest feedback. Um, and I'll continue to keep, you know, making the boundaries bigger. More music, different music, you know, not the same sound. To be honest, I just got bored of rap. Just, I just felt like, you know, I'll come back and make some shit, but I'd like to make some music that like fixes me and maybe can fix some other people too while I'm at it. All right. Let me see what we got here. Someone said, where do I buy it? Just go on iTunes or Depending on what kind of phone you have, if you have an Apple, just go on to iTunes and buy it. Or or go on to Apple and stream it or Spotify, wherever you listen to music, just go get it. No physical copies, I'm sorry, guys. Someone said, dude, you don't need to be fixed. You're just fine the way you are. <laughs> it took a long time to get here. Uh, but no, I think every day I'm, I want to improve, you know? It's dropping at midnight. I was just going to do this for an hour just to talk to you guys. Oh, wait, this is cool. Something said, I'm working on buying land for my family. Man, do that. Hey, I'll tell you something right now. Land is something that you can't make more of, so you should buy land. You can't make more land, right? They can print more money. They can make more houses. They can do all that, but they cannot make more 
land. Is it on cassette? No, but that would be super, that would be kind of cool, huh? Someone said we're trying to buy more than uh Do you have a mailing address? No, I don't. Thank you for your willingness to share your life. No problem. Always. Thank you for being you. Thank you. I'll buy the cassette. A track. Do I believe in USOs? I don't know what that is. Someone said I really need some mods. I really believe in freedom of speech. And I don't go live a lot. So I think this is like my fourth live on YouTube. Uh, so listen, I'm not going to ever have mods because I believe in freedom of speech. If you want to say whatever you want to say in here, do it. How do I get into writing music? I don't think that's something that you just get into. I think that's something that you have to be in love with. Something that's like a passion. That's how it was for me, at least. Yeah, this album... I oh, man, I hope you guys like this album. <laughs> Fuck. I really hope you guys like it, man. Because I enjoyed making it so much. I would like to make more like it. And even if you guys don't like the album, I think I might just make more like it because it, it, like, it helped me out. My favorite pizza, pepperoni. If you're asking me what my favorite place is, near me, I'd have to go with Aurelio's probably. Which I, you guys probably don't know what that is. Wait, what do I think about what? What do I think about the president? Come on, man. You guys all know what I think about that dude. Bag of bones, dementia, pudding pop, looking ass. How is the clothing side doing? A vacal clothing. Uh, clothing is we. I mean, we make a, we gross a ton of money. Last year we did, and the year every year we've done very good. The problem is we're we're a new company still, five years old, and the profit margin is, I have never, I, listen to me, I have not made a dime of profit into my bank account in five years. I put money in, uh, it's very hard to do. It's very hard to do. And the success rate, again, is very, you're talking about very low success rate for me to make it, but I'm going to try. Is the Brave 3 ever going to come out? I mean, that's nothing that's ever been talked about. Um, and I, I don't think if we, I don't, I can't say for sure, but I don't, if we ever did do another album, I don't know if that's, if it would be like a, another like installment of that. Crazy, the Brave one and two are both in the top 10 on iTunes. Brave One's never left the top 200 charts on iTunes. Like, if you go to iTunes, the top 200, like, album, it's never even, in two years, it's been on, like, it's been on there. My thoughts on Dax. Very interesting guy. Uh, very interesting guy, very talented writer, really, really good at basketball, actually. Uh, yeah. Cool perspective on, on life. I haven't met Jade, uh, the, the girl, she's was in that live on TikTok. She's a really good singer. I have not met her yet. Podcast status next year. All right, guys, it's been an hour.
Yeah, if you don't pre-order it, just buy it. Buy it after in an hour when it comes out. A couple more questions. I'm out. I did. I did my hour. Triple T said, "Hey, Kale, are you still gonna let me interview?" Of course. You're actually a reasonable person, and I'm sorry to hear about your mom. Um, yeah, I would love for you to actually come out to the house. Chad Arms came out. A lot of guys have came out and did interviews at the house. I would love for you to do. I would love for that. I'll pay for your, for everything. You could even stay at the house if you want. Most guys stay at the house when they come through. No problem. Triple T, you're, Triple T, uh, you might not always agree with me. I might not always agree with you, but you're, you're, you're a reasonable man. Uh, I respect, uh, what you've done for our country. Um, yeah, I would love to do an interview with you. All right, I'm getting tired, tired. And I got to stay up. I got to stay up. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. I love y'all. I tried my best <laughs> with this live. If you didn't get anything out of this live, I got a brand new album dropping. I just hope you hear it and listen to it. And that's it. Triple T said you beat women. I hope he didn't say that because that would be the biggest um, untruth of all time. That's, yeah, I really hope he didn't say that because if he did, that is, you can't say shit like that when it's not true. I mean, you can literally go, my, my record is public. You can go look at my record. My whole life is public. My, my, especially my fucking criminal record. Yeah, whoever said that, you guys got to be careful with shit like that. That's a little different. But that's a little different than trolling. That's kind of like... That and talking about my kids, I don't, I don't fuck around with that type of shit. That'll make me come out the house. Um. Anyways... It, Good live. Love you guys. Gonna go spend some time with my family. And we're gonna do what we always do on this night. And we're gonna stay up. Um, thank you, God. Thank you for all these people in my life. All of you all. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>